Welcome back to Reality Bites Back. Today, we dive into the world of visas and ex-girlfriends on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After Season 8, Episode 11. Let's recap all the drama and relationships. Stay tuned. A not-so-happy ending. From a resurfacing ex-girlfriend to a failed visa interview, the drama continued during Episode 11 of 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After, Jasmine Pinder returned from Florida, highly motivated about her beauty pageant dreams and turned to fitness to get in better shape. However, Gino Palazzolo had yet to pay for the pageant's cost, which became a bigger conversation about control. The Panama native felt she had to depend on her husband for everything in America because he managed their money. Jasmine accused Gino of sabotaging her pageant dreams and claimed he liked having the upper hand. You've been punishing me cause I don't want to have a baby with you and you're enjoying your power over me, Jasmine angrily told him. In a separate conversation with producers, she added, he knows that I am not emotionally, mentally, you know, strong enough to deal with all this. The argument ended with Jasmine declaring she was walking home, furiously throwing a smoothie and shoes Gino bought her on the ground. It's visa interview day for Michael Eilsanmi and Angela Deem. While interviewing at the consulate, Angela waited at a nearby restaurant as she anxiously anticipated the results. Did he get it or did he not get it? Angela told the cameras. Like I'm scared to freaking death right now. This wait is the hardest thing I've had to do in a long time. Our entire future together hinges on if he can ace this interview. Unfortunately, Michael's return did not come with good news. The Nigerian native revealed he didn't receive his visa and was asked why his initial K-1 visa was denied. He told the consulate he didn't know why and was told they would be contacting the government organization to find out. Michael told Angela she could return home while he waited out their response, which in turn angered the Georgian native. Following the cancellation of their wedding by Ed Brown, Liz Woods made her way back to her hometown of San Diego. In her absence, Ed admitted he was lonely but felt he made the right decision by choosing to end their relationship. After Liz dropped her daughter Riley at the airport to send her back to her father's house, the mom of one told her mom she was embarrassed about the situation with Ed and regretted involving her daughter. I would have never done this. I would have never done any of this. I feel like the worst mom ever. I don't even have a home for my kid right now, the San Diego native said during the phone conversation. In a private confessional, Liz added, I feel completely embarrassed believing that we could make it. It's Patrick Men's brother John McManus' first night in Brazil, and the pair met up to get a drink. During their conversation, Patrick revealed he hadn't told his wife yet that John would be staying with them. John doesn't make my life any easier, the bodybuilder said in a confessional, and he just assumed that he could stay with us. Upon their arrival back to the apartment, Ties reluctantly agreed to allow John to stay. However, she was visibly annoyed after the brothers began to speak loudly and abruptly declared she was going to bed. After a problem-filled trip to New York with Manuel Velez, Ashley Michelle reunited with her cousin for Roman IV treatment therapy. The self-proclaimed which complained about Manuel asking for more money, noting she recently gave him a thousand dollars to send over in addition to another large sum of money she had already sent. She told her friend that Manuel triggered her stemming from actions from her biological father, who is not in her life after committing suicide. Cause how I've been hurt in the past right, and he acts like his actions are no big deal, Ashley recounted. He knows about my past, and he should know better than to act this way. Manuel and Ashley discussed their relationship, and the Ecuador native accused her of not truly understanding him and his needs. Meanwhile, Ashley felt Manuel wasn't always giving her the full details. As the argument escalated, Ashley brought up the idea of a postnuptial agreement.